Yep. Fargo and Buffalo to finish the year. That's some smart travel plans. Um, both beautiful at this time of year. Um, got my backpack on because going back to school, and that means going back and, and figuring out how to become a better coach. You know, sometimes there's certain there's certain things that happen and maybe things aren't going well, then you got to evaluate and, and, and make some adjustments and, and changes. And, you know, that's what, that's what I got my backpack for. So I've been studying and become, continue to become a better coach, you know, because you, you never have it figured out. And no matter how well or how bad things are going, um, you know, we got to continue to move forward and, and really get our team geared up for this next five weeks. You know, we got five weeks left in the season, one, one dual meet, and then, uh, you know, our conference tournament and, and national tournament. Um, you know, obviously our lineup this weekend, you know, we're, we're missing a few guys. Um, I'm going to tell you this, I'll, I'll never punt dual meets. I'll never just, hey, we'll give up on things. Um, but you have to get guys healthy. And we have some guys right now that they're not, they're not ready to go compete. Um, and it's just, it's not smart to put them out there. So we're getting our guys ready to compete at the, at the conference tournament. Um, I think we'll have a couple of those guys back this week. Um, but, but we'll see, you know, because really when it comes down to it, we have to have these guys as ready as possible um, for for the Mackin National Tournament. Um, and, and that might mean that we put a lineup out there that doesn't look like the lineup you think you're going to see. But uh, I still believe that, that the guys that we send out there can go, can go get the job done. You know, even the other night, you know, we're, we're, we're missing a few of our starters. Um, but we got guys that are capable of stepping in there and getting the job done. You know, I still fully expected that we would win that dual meet. Um, don't, don't care if so-called backups are in. Um, you know, we just got to find find ways to to win some of those matches. You know, the, a lot of those matches were nip and tuck. They're close, um, and guys got to got to find a way to score. Got to put 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 another few points on the board. But also it goes back to kind of practice room and the things that you see, and and those things get exposed. I think if if you guys are aware with wrestling, it's it's pretty hard not to get certain things exposed if you don't take care of things. If you don't take care of your your weight. If you're not taking care of your lifestyle. If you're not doing things right, it gets exposed. Um, and I tell you what, uh, some of our guys are getting exposed out there, and, and they know it. And now the, the key is, are you going to move forward from it and make some adjustments, and or are you just going to continue to do that? Because I tell you what, the I don't think anybody's feels very good about where they're at as far as results wise. You know, I think we do got some guys wrestling pretty well though. I mean, I, Blaze Blaze hit some unbelievable attacks. You know, he had a close match with that guy earlier in the year, and really he controlled the match and, and had about four or five more opportunities that the guy kicked out of. So um, I, I like where he's at and competing. Um, you know, as far as what we'll see this week, I'm not sure I'm not sure who's going to go out to Buffalo. Um, I know we'll, we'll send a team out there and we'll, we'll have 10 weights that be contested and we'll be ready to scrap. Um, but other than that, you know, we're, we're getting our guys healthy and we're getting them prepared and ready for, for, for conference because that's uh, less than three weeks away. Uh, I don't know if anybody saw, we got the first RPI came out. So RPI and coaches rank um, have came out. So there's, there's three things that decide how you get, how you get an automatic qualifier. Um, and the max can be represented pretty well. Uh, you know, right now I think at, at 25, could get maybe four guys in. Uh, there's still a couple matches left. Uh, 33 is probably six guys. Uh, 41, hopefully we get a fourth one in. Uh, 49, I think there's five. 57, four, um, 65 right now, one or two, 74, three or four, 84, three or four, um, 97, five, and then heavyweight right now is one. So that just tells me how many automatic qualifiers you get. And one thing when we moved to the MAC, we wanted to be in a tougher conference. We wanted to be in a conference that got more, more, more numbers to the national tournament. Um, you know, our guys can do, they can ensure that by how they take care of their season, but, you know, it's certainly nice to, to punch your ticket and have, have as many, have as many guys in there as possible. So, um, you know, so kind of looking at that. So I don't know if anybody is aware that's how things run now, but that's how it runs. So um, our guys can do, can do their job by, by winning another match. You know, we, we might need a couple guys to wrestle just to get their win percentage up or get another match for RPI. Uh, so they qualify an automatic spot, but I guess anything else? If um, if somebody didn't wrestle against North Dakota State, doesn't go this weekend to Buffalo, it might be almost four weeks since they would have been on the MAC competing. How how concerned are you with with that going into the the MAC championships? If guys have sat that long as far as in an actual match, uh, I'm not concerned. These these guys have done they've wrestled more than anything else they've done in their life. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else that they've done more. And sometimes being being fresh and and having a little bit more time off can actually be a really good thing. Um, sometimes, you know, I mean, just 
what would say absence makes the heart grow fonder. I mean, sometimes that's how it is with wrist wrestling too. All of a sudden you get away from it a little bit and you can't have it. Then that's kind of what we're doing right now with our team. We're pulling back. We're pulling back a lot of the hard wrestling. So they, they, they're so hungry. I mean, they're kind of like a pack of wild dogs. You got them, you're holding them at the line and you keep, you know, to, to get them to go. Because then you can't hold them back anymore because they want to go so hard. So I'm not concerned with that at all. I mean, if, if our, if our guys, and you know, you can look at it like this, we got a foundation built up of shape. So it's not like, it's not like your shape's just going to go on like that. Oh, we, we had a couple weeks off. Their shape's not going to go anywhere. I mean, they can put an edge on their shape, um, you know, in a very short time because of all the work that they've put in. You know, they got a lot, they got a lot in the bank. I mean, if, if that wasn't the case, you know, if you're trying to, trying to race a guy now and cr trying to cram at the end, then, then I'd be concerned. But I don't, I don't feel like we're cramming at the end with any of these guys. I feel like sometimes, sometimes it's almost better. And some of the guys that I've seen wrestle the best have, have they've been able to have some time off, you know, so it, I'm not concerned, but it's just, it's gotta be in the best interest of, of the guy and the athlete. And, um, you know, a guy like Dylan, it's, a, it's really the best thing. It's the best thing for him right now. Um, you know, and that's, that's what we're gonna evaluate each guy. What's the best thing for him uh, moving forward. And that's, that's the way we'll go with it, so. Are there a couple of guys going to Buffalo that, that 